LinkedIn targeting options are already available within Microsoft ads. With audience ads, you can use LinkedIn targeting options to do direct targeting. For search campaigns, you can layer in LinkedIn audiences as bid-only audiences. Well, this month, Microsoft announced that LinkedIn targeting is now available for Performance Max campaigns. Michelle and I are typically B2B and lead gen clients, so we really don't recommend to start with Performance Max right away. But in this case, if I can hone in on specific job personas or direct companies, this definitely catches my eye and we're going to test it. So we'll show you how to get access to this new feature, and then we'll show you how to set it up to test it out for your Performance Max campaigns. And this is a first. I'm starting off the video in the Microsoft Advertising Support page. And I'm doing this because as I'm recording this video, LinkedIn targeting features for Performance Max are not available for every account. Since this is so new, you do have to contact a rep from Microsoft Ads and request access. So support, you can either chat with someone, get a ticket number, which is what I did, but they were kind of slow, so I also had to call and follow up. Eventually we did get access, but when we were trying to, they told us that they batch up all the requests for this LinkedIn targeting feature for Performance Max, and then if the account is approved, they make this feature available for all the approved accounts who requested it every Wednesday. So even though several of our accounts were approved, we still had to wait sometimes almost a full week to actually see this feature available within the account. So reach out to your rep if you have a dedicated rep, go to support, request access for this feature, but now we can actually go to the Microsoft Ads interface. All right, for now we're gonna start from scratch. I'm gonna go and create a new campaign. And for Performance Max in Microsoft, you have to choose the objective of driving conversions, selling products, or skip which is essentially like Google creating a campaign without a goals guidance. So from those objective options, of course, we want Performance Max. Scrolling down a little bit and I can click continue. Now don't get freaked out if you see this. This is optional. If you do want to sell products and attach a store from your merchant center, here's where you would do it. For anyone watching this video, most likely it's not relevant. If we're trying to do some ABM targeting with LinkedIn targeting options, odds are most of you are lead gen. So you can skip this and just click start campaign. And right away, we're gonna start creating our asset group. There, I entered in a name, choose your URL, paste it ours in there, and then we can start adding assets. You can see it on the screen right now. You can add up to 20 images, and within the same paragraph, it gives you minimum specs required for those images. So let me just add a few. I'm not saying I'd recommend what we're doing. This is just pulling recommended images from the URL that we gave, which is our home page. I'm just gonna select some of these just so we can keep on moving, but go ahead and upload all of yours and then look at all the different placements in the preview and you can scroll through through this section down below too, just to make sure that the images that you are using will look good in all placements. If not, you can choose to exclude them. Next, you can add up to five different company logos, not our traditional logo. Again, I just wanna keep on moving. And then add in your short headlines, all of these were automatically pulled in. Microsoft is gonna use their own AI to come up with recommendations again based upon your landing page. If I click on this feature over here, if you like certain recommendations or need to make little tweaks, just click on the little pen icon. You can even refresh it or trash it. Next, you can add up to five long headlines. Four of them are already added by Microsoft. Same thing with the AI feature. Get new ideas, refresh it, or trash it. And then I'm seeing some more recommendations down here. And then just like Google, we also get four descriptions. Just like the long headline, also 90 characters each. So we can just keep on scrolling. There's our business name. You can choose your call to action. Notice that we can't do a custom one. We have to choose something from the dropdown or stick with automated, letting Microsoft decide. But after that, you can choose all the ad extensions that you think would be relevant for this campaign. Choose your ad schedule, and then we can save and go to the next step. I know, we're getting closer. We're in targeting now. Go ahead. Update your location and language, and here we get signals. You see we have two options, create and browse. You can select browse if you've already created a group that you would want to use. So if you're replicating this LinkedIn targeting campaign to test a few different things, you'll eventually get to use browse, but in this case, we want to start with create. All right, in this case, I'm going to create a new audience signal. And then if we want to look at just LinkedIn targeting options, we need to skip interests and we need to skip first party data. Interests are kind of going to be like Microsoft's in-market audiences and your first party data is gonna be your retargeting or remarketing audiences, as well as your customer list. LinkedIn targeting lives under demographics. Skip age, skip gender, and there we see company, industry, and job function. So already I forgot, I believe I said company industry. Okay, we'll save this one. But here we have main industry categories with the black arrows next to each category. They all break down into more specific categories. 
If you want to choose one, just find the option, click target, and there we see it's added to the list. I know I didn't mention this before, but since we're talking about targeting, I'm going to mention it now. This is targeted. Hopefully it was straightforward, but there aren't any observation or bid only audiences for Performance Max. When we're creating these companies and adding them to our asset groups, this is a flat out targeting option. It's the exact same thing for audience ads within Microsoft since LinkedIn targeting is already available for those. So if I stop right here, save this audience and attach it to the asset group, I'm letting Microsoft know I want my Performance Max campaigns to target anyone who says within their LinkedIn profile that they work in the defense and space industry. I'm just gonna remove this for now, but notice that each of these have a search function. Here, I just typed in auto. You're looking for automotive, industrial automation. I didn't even have to type in the full word, clicked enter. That's exactly what I was looking for, marketing and advertising. Anything in terms of food production, there it is. If you're already familiar with LinkedIn advertising and the company industry target that's available, you probably already know what you'd be searching for. Here we see job function. And in case you're wondering, no, job title targeting is not a LinkedIn targeting feature that's available in Microsoft. Ever since they announced LinkedIn targeting for Microsoft in like, what, 2018, I've been waiting for job title targeting, and I haven't even heard anything that it's even being considered. So if anyone knows Microsoft a lot better than I do, and it's coming, please share it with us and make a lot of people happy. Okay, but job function is going to be definitely much more broad than job title targeting. And notice these don't break down into more specific categories. But we can see what some of the options are as I keep scrolling. But for our B2B and lead gen clients, company targeting is the bread and butter of this feature within Microsoft. It's essentially ABM targeting. If there are companies that you want to go after, type in the company name, click enter, and you can see it here. I don't know if it's just me, but I can never get the company logo to show like it does when you're searching for companies within LinkedIn. Hopefully you can figure out from here, but it's pretty common to run into an issue where several companies have the same name or similar name. Just make sure that you're targeting the right one. They do have the industry listed underneath each company name. So now I can create performance max campaigns that are targeting specific companies. This is pretty much the only way we can use ABM targeting with search since search is a part of performance max. There's just a retail option. You get it. I don't need to search for dozens of different companies. Hopefully you know what companies you'd like to get in front of. One thing I will say by using the company targeting feature in the past for other clients is that not every company that you can see in LinkedIn shows up within Microsoft. These ones I know would show up 10,000 plus employees. If you're trying to reach small businesses, companies who've listed themselves as myself only two to 10 employees, a lot of those companies don't show up. Okay, but then you can just go down after you've picked all of the options. I'll actually go back and edit this later for when I actually need to use it for a client. Since we're literally just testing this out, this is brand new to us too. I'm not going to add any other additional features. I want to see specifically how this LinkedIn targeting works on its own. If I want to have a separate campaign with different groupings of ABM targets, I'm going to have that at its own asset group, but I'm really going to consider if I have a good amount of budget, having the one asset group per the campaign it gives me better control over the budget. So I'm gonna save, go to the next step. All right, next you would choose your campaign name, select your ad schedule. If you wanna use account level conversions or campaign level conversions, if you've already uploaded assets that you know are valuable and you want full control, turn these three elements off. Then you know exactly what you're showing, what you're saying, and what URLs you're sending users to. We don't have any page feeds in this case. I'm just gonna to go to the next step, choose your budget, choose your bid strategy, save and go to the next step again review everything, and then we can go live. Back in the campaigns view, there's nothing there because I don't want to launch that fake campaign and I have it filtered to all enabled campaigns. But after your campaigns go live, of course, you can look at all the same columns that you have with your regular Performance Max campaigns and get a better understanding of if the new LinkedIn targeting options for Microsoft Performance Max are working for you. Since Michelle and I typically work primarily in B2B and lead gen, our clients are consistently asking us for new ways that we could test any sort of ABM campaign. We always start off in LinkedIn, but we also understand that our clients' audiences don't only live on LinkedIn. So we'll always embrace more options that offer us this specific targeting like LinkedIn and other mediums and different placements with different ad formats. If you have any other questions on how we can use LinkedIn targeting for performance max within Microsoft or just within Microsoft in general, let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching our video. We really appreciate it. If you liked it, give us a thumbs up below. 
If you really liked it, maybe think about subscribing to the Paid Media Pros YouTube channel and you'll get alerted every time a new video drops. If you really, really liked it, you can help support the channel by checking out some of the t-shirts that we're wearing on our merch shelf, as well as looking at the super thanks button.